We are nearing completion of our earth bag rainwater harvesting cistern. We're so excited. We've already started the ferro cement building process, and now it's time to cover the top of the roof. All right, Jessica's up at it. Giving the ferro cement a little squirt. Probably gonna be one of our big jobs today, keeping this thing wet, huh? So we've been at it pretty early. Last night we were out here and we pretty much got almost the entire baseboard done. We ran out of cement at the end, didn't we? Yep. Like how much area do you think we got to cover? Not even a foot. <laughs> Not even a foot, it was so close. So we got to get a little bit of ferro cement in there and then we're going to start on the top of the cistern, which is crazy exciting. Time to get to it again. Time to get started. You ready to get started? Well, she's okay. She started. I got to get I got to get started. <laughs> it's the second time giving that baseboard a little spray. This no, oh, third time. I did it too. Now the ferro cement you want to you want to try and keep that moist. The more you can keep it wet and it uses that moisture to uh, to cure. It's going to hold together much stronger. The concrete will help uh, seal up all the wounds I got from the wire. That's how a real man bandages his wounds. Just rub some concrete in there. Just kidding, don't try that at home. So now that we got the baseboards all coated with the ferro cement, now we're gonna try and go over the top. Now to do that, without creating too big of a mess, Jessica's gonna be on top applying the ferro cement. I'm gonna get inside the cistern and try applying a counter force from below. So that way we don't get too much drippage. We see you. Why are you sleeping on the job? Why are you sleeping on the job? We just started. Already we're making some changes. As you can see, Jess is over there working. Hey Jess. Applying the ferro cement to the top of the cistern. I, however, am not inside holding it up. Now that might mean we get a little bit more mess at the bottom. We might have to throw a tarp down there. I don't know. But uh, right now, she's gonna be up there applying. Meanwhile, I'm outside filling jugs with water, doing mixes. Uh, let me show you what's going on with that. All right, so I started mixing things by hand. Now, the mixer was working well, but it was just taking quite a bit of time in between loads, and it was, and especially with me inside the cistern, uh, there wasn't really anybody to kind of keep the mix moving, and it's kind of getting real thick, and it's kind of getting building up inside there, and it's kind of becoming like a gunky mess. So, I've been switched to kind of like short, quick hand mixing. So far, that's doing okay. Jess is out there applying, uh, applying the ferro cement. I'm over here filling things, mixing things, and then uh, crew. Uh, both of us got to check on crew from time to time. We got him actually inside of the RV because uh, it's just way too hot for him to be outside, even in the shade. Uh, he'd probably get heat exhaustion. So he doesn't like it, but he's got to stay inside. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a bunch of cement down there. It's going to be tough to clean. I'm going to throw this tarp down there. I actually found that we have a second one about the same size, so I'm going to throw that down there as well. And we'll pretty much have the whole bottom of the cistern covered. That'll save a lot of headache with cleaning. Ah! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So I laid the tarp down there. That's just going to be really helpful for uh, making sure it gets cleaned real easy. Making sure the liner is protected from, from debris, from the ladders, from our boots. From the sun. <laughs> That'd be a big help. And 
it has been a hot one today, hasn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, so, I mixed two buckets for Jess. She's putting those on right now. We're about to take a break for some dinner. Plus, we're still gonna do our live stream. We usually go live at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays. It's a great way to connect with uh, people that watch our videos, answer some questions you guys might have. It's a fun time, check it out. But meanwhile, while she's putting those buckets on, I'm gonna soak this down. So you can see just got uh, the tarp over there. We're just gonna toss this over the top because we're gonna have a little extended break and it's still hot, sunny, and dry out here. So we're gonna get this portion covered up. Whoa, what you got there? Compost. You got compost in that cup? Well, <laughs> some veggie scraps. I'm going to compost it. What's that? Going in the human manure? Nope. So we got a gift of some black soldier fly larvae. What? And I'm feed them. Caution, what you're about to see is black soldier fly larvae compost. These black soldier fly larvae are a good source of protein, so... So you're gonna eat them? I'm not gonna eat them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they might be chicken food in the future. Uh, chicken treats. It's cool that, you know, they can help us compost and then they can be fed to the chickens. And unlike, you know, other fly larvae, it's a little bit safer because they don't have the same risk for transmitting diseases. Keeping it moist like any good Ferro cement, people do. Get it on, keep it moist, make it strong, yeah! So we stopped for a little bit to do the live chat. Such a good time. Before the live chat, I actually took a little bit of a shower because man, I was stanky. I covered in all kinds of cement and uh, man, it felt good just to get all that off. Uh, feeling a lot better. Ready to get stinky again. You ready to get stanky, girl? All right, stanky. Sorry. She's already stanky, but let's get to work. We're already working. We've been uh, we've been out here since the live, mixing up the ferro cement, getting it on there, keeping it wet, getting it done, right? Yeah, getting it done, getting it done. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just gonna keep dancing for a while until she tells me to get back to work. Back to work. Oh. Jess has gone full on beast mode. She's been putting that cement on like crazy. She's moving a lot faster, a lot faster than we were able to when she was inside working on those smaller walls. Now that she's on top, it's going so much quicker. So I got out here right away and the first thing I did was clean out the cement mixer so that we could start using that again. It's the only way I can feed the beast because she's going through these mixes like crazy. I'm just running around moving sand, getting water, mixing. Bringing it right to her. She's putting it on, we're moving. Whoa, so we did it. Uh, first, scratch code is in, right? Yeah. I think we kinda maybe had, when we started, had the delusions that maybe we could've got this done in one shot, but I think, from what I've seen, there's just little spaces, little crevices, little holes in the first coat that's really gonna need to get kinda covered up and filled in. And there's just little imperfections, little dips, especially in there that we can probably work out. What did you learn from doing this first coat? Well, because of the way that we're doing it with just laying it right on the wire mesh without anything to kind of hold it in there, I had to develop a technique to not get so much like falling through all the holes. So I think laying it on thickly 
And then instead of pressing it down into the wire, I just kind of spread it out gently and then it just kind of settled down into the wire. Just let gravity do the work. Yeah. Uh, so we got the tarps over here. We took a little lunch break. We're back out. We're ready to go. We've already started on the second coat. Over here, we're down to just over four bags of cement. So that means we used over five so far. So hopefully these bags will last us and get through the second coat. I'm gonna actually change up our formula a little bit. So I was doing three cans of sand to one can of cement, three one. I think I'm gonna switch that to a four one ratio. I'll also be making this mix a little soupier. So that's just a little bit runny. That way Jessica can just pour it out, smooth it out. So while I've been gathering materials, getting things ready, starting the mix, Jessica's been over here wetting down the roof. Now that's super important because this stuff is really thirsty. Even thirstier than we are in the, the hot <laughs> middle of the day. So if we can get this uh, bottom layer saturated, then we put on that next layer, it's not gonna suck all the moisture off from it. So it's really good to get a good saturation on that bottom layer before you add that next layer. So with this, we got the second coat of the ferro cement roof on. But we are out of cement, so we're done for a little bit. We gotta basically put another light third layer on top of here, right? Kind of make it look a little pretty. Yep. And then uh, work on the gutters, eh? Kind of shape those, get those ready. Then uh, that's be it, huh? Then we're done. Then we're done. <laughs> so stay tuned. We got the uh, roof finishing off the roof and the gutters coming up soon. So that should be fun. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>